Hello, I'm being Batman on the Red Book. So the movie's about, um, well, obviously it's about Batman. Uh, but Batman apparently has been depressed for a while because his uh, partner, Robin, uh, Jason Todd Robin, died by the hand of the Joker in an explosion. Due to an explosion. And so he had to bury him. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems Jason Todd has returned back, but as a vigilante known as the Red Hood. <clears throat> gunning down drug dealers and mob via members. <clears throat> So, and using the mob, get, using the crooks as leverage to take down this real big bad guy called uh, Black Mask, who's this uh, black skeleton has a forehead. And so, Batman finds out that he really is... Who he, who he said he was, which is Jason. He, he gave him a hint. He says, "The bad catch you next time, Bruce." And he recognized that voice, but he didn't doesn't believe at first it was really him. And till later, he real when he does out the grave, he realizes that's not really his corpse. That's just a mannequin. So he feels like he was careless and stupid and just like, sh sh because he feels like he should have done an autopsy. He was careless and stupid. Alfred tries to explain him. So you were very grieving. Even I was grieving over his loss. And he says, no excuse. Uh, so he goes after Jason to try to stop him. And his he uh, kidnaps the Joker. Uh, oh, and also, we got a good uh, arc between Batman and um, how close Batman and the first Robin, Dick Grayson, he's Nightwing now and this timeline. And um, so, we see how close they have become. Nightwing is absent for the rest of the third act of the film because she got injured. Batman thanks him and he's just shocked that he got a thing from him because that's so unlike him. <laughs> for Batman to use his wings. Um, uh, so, anyway, um, so, anyway, um, uh, he kidnaps the Joker and uh, and uh, tortures him. How uh, he tortured him when he was alive with a crowbar. <laughs> And the Joker's excuse on is like all oh, I have jokes when he's like, oh crap, a crowbar. <laughs> and uh, then um uh, after he, then he gets in a fight with Batman and it goes on for and it's very uh, serious. Uh Red and Rage Mag also. Uh lots of drama going on between them talking back and forth while they're fighting. And how like uh Jin Todd sees him he's better than him. And Batman says, you want to be better than me? This ain't the way. Uh, and um, and he says, I'm sorry I didn't save you, Jason. And he says, is that what you think? I forgave you for not doing that a long t a time ago. But why in the hell is Joker still alive? I thought he was going to be the last person that he ever murdered. That was going to be the last person that he murdered. 
but he's still around. And he says the reason why he's so like because he can't, it would be too easy. And you know, he every day he seems to have given him every single torture imaginable that he's done to people. And he feels like it won't stop there he, if he goes down that path. He doesn't think he'll ever come out of it. So, um, so mm, mm, uh, uh, so Jason says, "Is either me or him? You have to decide." And uh, he throws a battery at the gun. <laughs> When he's about to get, when he when he's about to fire the gun, and the Joker is, is like, I find it unbelievable. You so managed to find a way out. <laughs> unbelievable, Batsy. See, he's. <laughs> and, uh, I really like the Joker in this. Uh, so. So, um, the Joker still wants them all to die, unfortunately, so he, uh, so, so he holds Batman down from stopping the bomb, and he says, no way, we are, I'm, I'm going to have his happy and he, <laughs> no matter what, if he means killing out of us all die, instead of you die, uh, so he's like, yeah, he's that insane, and uh, he's and his the joke is absolutely hooray in this. He's the most entertaining part of this film, actually. So explosion happens. Jason's body is nowhere to be found. So it's not clear if he's dead or alive. Robin's in, in uh, so Ben is back being depressed. Joker has been sent back to Arkham Asylum. And Robin's scene is all on the news. And he goes back to kicking ass as Nightwing. And that was Batman Under the Red Hood. And I really love the film a lot. Um, so I give it the thumbs up. Um, so I set this, I'm sorry if I don't seem more excited to set this anxiety is really worrying on me. Bye.